we first have to understand our history. The University of Texas at Austin was a university that segregated its student population by law. And I'll frame it with the historic Brown versus Board of Education case. It said, separate is inherently unequal. It is unlikely that a child, a person, could fully participate in our democratic society without a quality education. And it's just now that we've been able to address those issues in some meaningful ways. Of course, Brown stood for the case and it overturned state-sponsored segregation. It said, perhaps the most important function of state and local government is education. And so we cannot afford, if we want to stay a viable place without educating the whole population. Uh, the Supreme Court back in 2003 stated that diversity is a compelling interest. It reflects the growing ethnic and racial diversity of our country, and that's particularly true here in Texas. We have the opportunity now to say to the community that although we recognize the past, this is a new day, and we can now do things in the right way. What's interesting about our division, what makes us unique, is that we span the entire university. There are no boundaries to our work. The University of Texas at Austin has undertaken many initiatives to ensure and increase the number of students who are first in their families to attend college. The University of Texas Elementary School is key to this initiative. It's not only a community engagement initiative where we're increasing the number of underrepresented students into the college pipeline, but our school serves as a model of urban education for other schools across Texas and across our nation. If you look at contemporary America, and Austin is no different, one sees inequality, social inequality, economic inequality, and one of the missions of the university is to address that. Creating an opportunity for adults to not just pursue an education, but to model the importance of education for their children. I do it for my kids. It is possible, it's never too late. Since I've been here, I've met students from all sorts of backgrounds. Whoever thought a guy like me would be at the University of Texas Austin. The face of Texas is changing, and as the face of Texas changes, the face of this student body has to change. I really can't imagine what my life would be like if I hadn't come to UT. We hope to use alumni, we hope to use other uh, positive role models within our university community and extended community. We may not have the answer today to how to create a more just world in terms of the distribution of wealth or race and gender, but we do know how to make the world better on the ground where we live. So our office is here to ensure that students with disabilities are able to gain equal access to higher education. The biggest barrier is those attitudinal barriers and the beliefs that people hold about students with disabilities. What we do in DDCE, what we try to do in my office, we try to personalize the university. I mean, we've had um, a, a number of students who have talked about um, feeling like they didn't belong on campus until they found the GSE, but I think even more profoundly for them was that they weren't judged for what they were going through. The most important part of DVC is lending the status, the prestige, and the human resources of the university to these community groups who are often struggling. Our goal in teaching and learning is to extend that classroom into the community. Community engagement for us means connecting university resources to community purposes through collaborative partnerships. FreeMinds is one of the ways that the Division of Diversity and Community Engagement is reaching out to populations historically underserved by higher education. Those partnerships are mutually enriching, right, so that both the university and the community partners bring something to the table and those knowledges come together to address critical social issues. Teaching and learning extends beyond the laboratory and the like and that our community is an essential part of what we do. We realize that there is tremendous value in having people of all races, all nationalities, all colors, all religions 
as a part of your organization. Exploring in a meaningful way differences and what brings us together, what keeps us apart. We create new knowledge. We want to make sure that the University of Texas is reflective of the demographics of the state. It really does start with the faculty. My name is Vivek Griffith. I'm the director of the Free Minds Project. I'm Bob Jensen and I'm a professor and a faculty fellow with the BDCE. Leonard Moore, professor in the history department. Victor Sines, I'm an assistant professor in the College of Education. I love diversity. I've been doing this work for many years. These issues of diversity, of difference, have to be constantly sort of addressed. Purposeful, intentional mentoring is going to ultimately equip them to fulfill those roles and responsibilities that we expect in increasingly diverse democracy that we all sort of inhabit. It is in the public school system that we secure and maintain this democratic way of life. The mission is simple yet powerful, to serve the people of Texas. The next generation of leaders across the state will come from UT. We need to make sure that we are preparing the next generation of leaders to go and fulfill that responsibility to educate the next generation of leaders who will go back and serve their communities. If we're going to truly promote a world-class university, if we're going to do what the Constitution of Texas calls for, we're going to have diversity. We are a diverse group of individuals united in our understanding that if we support one another, we can make huge and significant differences in students' lives. And as they say, what starts here changes the world.